Hi guys, Maz the Medic here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to explain how to renew your Nigerian passport here in the UK. So um, one thing you need to know is, I think there's only actually one place that you can renew your Nigerian passport, which is in London. Um, I just renewed my passport very recently and like a week or two ago. And I know a lot of people had questions like, oh, Mary, what did you do and stuff? So I thought I might as well just make a video explaining the process. Um, bear in mind, please do not take this as a like a one fits all because people have different passport needs. And please do do your research. But this is just to give you an idea of what you would need and how you'd go about um, renewing your passport. But this basically covers what like someone like me would do. I'm just basically showing you, telling you what ex exactly what I, I did um, to get my own passport. Anyway, so what I'm going to tell you is what you need to do before you get, before you start your application, what you need to do during your application and what you need to do for your appointment and how the appointment will go. Cause like I said, I just did mine a couple of weeks ago and I took some videos and stuff. So just to explain the process that way you get, have an idea and in case you're going to do it for the first time, so you have an idea of what to expect and what to bring and stuff and you feel less like, and anxious about it um yeah so i, I literally wrote, wrote word document and i'm gonna like that way i don't forget any steps um yeah we're gonna go through it and then i'm gonna explain the process for you but before i start if like a uni student that is looking for an accommodation close to your university then i would like you to check out amber students the link is in the description below um also a written word of all of this thing is in the description below by the way but yeah so check out amber students you can book accommodation that's very very close to your university um you can a very affordable prices you can uh, compare different prices different types of accommodation do you want a shared flat do you want a private space do you want an ensuite do you want a shared um, bathroom do you want to be close to the city center do you want to be close to the uni whatever you want you can filter and also you can have like a personal assistant like a personal hands-on approach so they have um ambassadors that can help you throughout the process that can guide you that can help you answer questions that um you may not be able to find online so it's very very good and i highly recommend someone especially like people that are traveling um from outside the uk uh, it's it's good to have someone there that can help you guide you through the process so yeah check out amber students in the link below all right so let's actually get into it sorry i'm having trouble connecting to the internet Alexa, it looks like okay, there's an issue okay, with the okay. router and record anyways okay so first thing you would need to do to renew your nigerian passport is you need to get your nin this is your national insurance number for Nigeria. This was actually something they brought up quite recently. Like the last time I renewed my passport five years ago, I did not need an NIN. And I think it's just something very recent. You cannot renew your Nigerian passport without getting an NIN. So I'd say if you want to renew, if you're planning to travel and you need your passport, do this at least four months in advance. First of all, you need to register and or pay for your NIN at a center that's close to you. The reason why I said and or pay is because some centers you have to pay before, you, you have to pay as you apply, while some, some centers you pay there. Um, the price ranges, I think is between 40 to 50 pounds. I think I paid 45 pounds and some places may, might be like 50 pounds, so it depends. So just have that in mind that you're gonna have to pay that kind of money. Um, so you can find the list of centers. I'm gonna put the list in the description below you can find the list of centers there um get a center that is close to you um yeah and there's actually there's not a lot like for example here in plymouth i'm in plymouth right now i'm studying i'm at university of plymouth but there's no center in plymouth like i had to go all the way back to london there's no there's no center in exeter so I had to go all the way back to London to do my NIN because they messed it up the first time, even though I did it in London the first time. So I had to go all the way back. So just get us, try to find a center that's close to you and do it. 
um so for your appointment what you will need is your passport photograph like i said passport sorry your actual passport like so even if it's like the expired one you would need your passport because they need to verify your identity if you don't have your passport i think you can have your birth certificate if you have your birth certificate then um also just bring another id card with you so like it can be like a, a driver's license or something just have another extra id card with you and you don't need like a passport photograph of yourself because they're going to take pictures of you there anyways so if you're going to go there make sure you get a trim get your hair done whatever you want to do because your picture will be taken and that picture if you see my picture scary <laughs> so you just make sure just be aware that you're gonna the pictures are gonna get taken of you so if you want to look cute for your NIM, you know what to do. You need to know your um your what's it called? Your local government. That's it. You need to know your local government. But if you do not have an address in Nigeria, I just put your home address here in the UK, which is why I did do the application process. I just put my home address. Um and then after you get your NIN, so some centers apparently give you NIN then and then it should take roughly about two weeks to like maximum two weeks to get. And once you get your NIM, print it out because you're going to need it for your application process. Just, just to be safe, just print it out. Cool. So after you get your NIM, then you can apply for your passport renewal. So uh, to renew your passport, you have to go to the Nigerian Immigration Service. And this is the website. I mean, everything link is in the description. Don't worry about that. So you have to select um, a standard e-passport, uh, select your processing country, which would be in the UK or wherever you are and then you log in with your email address so i just logged in with my google address and then just acknowledge data protection policy because if you don't it just takes you back just acknowledge that and then you have to pay for your passport so i think the payment is in dollars um i paid in dollars but i just used my monzo account and paid for it directly i didn't even know i think roughly it was about 143 dollars and why am i saying dollars like that like i'm bob risky um 143 dollars and um that was about 132 pounds or something like that when they removed the transaction fee as well so roughly let's say about 150 so so far you've spent almost 200 pounds basically um and then this is the very important thing after you fill out like, your application process and you pay for your passport you need to make sure you print out a copy of your application form and the proof of payment those two things are so important you need to print it out because if not you're not going to be able to um, enter your appointment um, you also need to uh, make note of your application ID and your reference number that will be given to you after you pay for your passport um, this will also be emailed to you with your receipt of payment so in case you didn't take note of that it will be emailed to you so that way it won't be too bad but make note of those numbers because you're going to need it for the next step so i cannot stress how much you need to make sure you print out a copy of the application form because it, it will be given to you right so then we go on to step three which is booking your interview appointment you can book your interview appointment right after you pay for your application but you can't do that before you pay for your application so right after i just book it because like there are not dates available like early on so ask the quicker you can book your appointment the better so to book your appointment you need to go to the nigerian high commission website link again is in the description so you click on immigration so there'll be a toggle bar at the top i'm gonna be showing you this as this video goes on but click on immigration and then you click on book appointment for your e-passport um and then the um you have to type in your application id and your reference number like i said from the previous stage and then you have to and then it just takes you immediately to select your appointment slot pick a day that you will be free all day because the, Hmm. you just don't never know some people have said they spent like hours on average i've spent about four hours there because i've done it twice the first time i think i spent about roughly five hours second time i spent like three and a half hours so just pick a day that you're not in a rush to go anywhere just in case i'll tell you that another very important thing guys please 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 print out your booking slip so they will give you a, a proof of like booking and there'll be like a, your reference number and your id number and everything and tracking tracking number that paper print it out because that's what you're going to show at the door to even enter into the application form make sure you print that out right so the booking appointment one is not like it's calm whatnot make notes of your appointment date and whatnot 
um, I don't even think they're gonna send you a reminder. These people are not really good at sending you reminders. They will not send you any reminders. Just make note of everything by yourself. Um, right, step four is preparing for your appointment. Now, again, I'm gonna say this because it's so important. You will not be able to go into your appointment if you do not have this. Make sure you print out a copy of your NIN just in case. This one, I don't think, it says that I should print it out, but I don't even think the checks, but just in case, just have that. A copy of your application form. So when you wrote out, when you're filling out the application form for your passport, they will show you like a row of copy, like this is all the things that you have. Print that one out. Uh, a proof of payment. That is important. You need to, you need a proof of payment that you've paid for. Make sure you print that out. Uh, an appointment booking slip, you need to print that out. Those are the very important documents you need. Now, another thing, the next thing that you need is you need an administration fee of £20 United Kingdom postal order made payable to the Nigerian High Commission in London. I will show you uh, an example of my own that I did, that I had. And then you make it in the post office, you tell them you make it payable to the Nigerian High Commission in London. And then next thing you need to, you can get this from post office. So like Royal Mail, like post office, just go, go there, tell them that you need a special um, um, a postal order fee, uh, make payable to the Nigerian Commission. They want to know what you're saying. And then you need to come along with a, a special delivery Royal, um, Royal Mail C4 and it's stamped. If you tell them, if you go to the post office, you get this at the post office as well, you tell them, I want a special delivery um, stamp Royal Mail C4 envelope um, that will enable, that, this one, this basically enables the High Commission to send you back your passport because they are not going to like pay for your passport to be sent to you, you need to pay for the envelope, the prepaid envelope to, for them to send it back to you. And that's to be a special one so that you can track um, your passport because the last thing you want to do is to lose your passport after you've gotten it so um, You need to do that because they will not they there's not like a physical collection point for your passport You need to basically send it They need to send it back to you and you need to pay for that to be done So make sure you take a pen with you because you're going to have like documents that you're going to like sign or whatnot There's going to be a document you're going to fill out there Make sure you take a pen with you and then take your current or slash expired passport a question some of might have is, can I renew my passport even though it's not expired? My passport is actually going to expire in December and I'm already in the renewal process because it's going to expire before at the time I need it in December. So you can renew your passport a couple of months before it's supposed to be expired. Um, right, so after that, then this is optional because I've seen on some website, because when I was doing my research, some website said, you're required to have like a passport photograph of yourself, like official passport photograph. I spent ten pounds on this thing and they didn't even ask me for it. The picture looks dead anyways. So um but one thing you need to know is they're gonna take a picture of you while you're there for your new passport. Get a trim, girls get your hair done, like look nice. I was wearing a scarf. I was wearing a scarf, my picture's gonna look so dead. Uh, but yeah, make sure you get a trim and get your hair done, uh, do your makeup or whatnot. I was looking very, very crusty that day. If you watch my, I'm going to have a um, trip to the London vlog. If you watch that, you see how crusty I was looking. Um, so, right. And then step five is your appointment day. Now, things that you need to note for your appointment day. If you booked a 9 a.m. slot, because I think there are two slots. There's 9 a.m. and there's 11 a.m. slot. Book the 9 a.m. slot. If you booked the 9 a.m. slot, make sure you leave as quick, like you get there early as possible people start queuing from 7 a.m this is not a joke people start queuing from 7 a.m i'll show you the line like i took videos there's a there will be a long line you're sure to have a long queue so the latest you want to get there is 8 30. i got there for like 8 30 and i was number 160 something actually no i was the, the number starts from 100 so i was 60 something in the queue like i was 69 or 65 in the queue i can't remember what number was six or something so and that i got that 8 30. the place opens at 9 a.m people will start queuing at seven basically so if you want to leave there like that's if you want to leave there as quickly as possible get there as quickly as possible um bring water bring snacks because it will be like even me that i got at 8 30 i was still there for three and a half hours i didn't leave there until like 12 11 something almost 12 
um no after 12 sorry so um bring snack and keep warm oh my gosh especially this time it was so cold oh no i'm so glad i had my long puffer keep warm it's going to be cold because you're going to be if you're going to go there early you're going to be standing in the queue and it's going to be freezing um if you forget anything bring cash with you so for example if you like forgot or you misplaced your special delivery envelope there's a guy that stands that's there that will have that will be selling some it, it will be more pricey than you would get it if you got it yourself but so bring cash just in case by the time you get to like the door um where you're supposed to go in make sure you have all the documents that i've spoke about in hand because i was i had everything in like a little um what's this thing called but i had some in one of these right i had them and the guy said where's your document and i presented it to him and it was just like he gave it back to me he said bring them out and like three people already went ahead of me that were behind me because i wasn't ready with everything i had so you need to be like imagine you're in lagos you need to have be street smart so bring the other uh, appointment slip and the proof of payment to your passport have that in hand and show it to him so you can go in uh, before you go in they will give you a ticket that tells you what number you are i was 165 um so i think let's just go with 165 so by the time you go in they tell you you go in just a list that you go in and then there's a waiting room where everyone is sitting it's going to be like a market square honestly it's gonna be a lot of people there um you sit now and then you wait there's like a screen and they will have different like num like numbers will be calling different people so it's, it will start from well mine it started from 100 so it will like tickets 125 please go to the um to the counter and when they call your number you go to the counter you show them your documents and they're going to take the documents that they need and then after that you're going to go upstairs to like to wait for them to for like the interview they call it interview but it's not really an interview job. anyways so you go upstairs and you wait again and then but then when you go upstairs there will be a lady at the counter desk make sure you go to that lady and you collect a form where you're going to fill out a form um you fill out a form and then you give a, um i think you hold it with you or you give it back did I, did I hold it or did i give it back i think you hold it with you for and then you give it to the person that's going to do your interview yeah that's what happens okay so you wait there while you're waiting there this is the time where you can like um write on the special delivery envelope your address and um where it's from so the nigeria High commission address because on the walls they're gonna have that um uh, also even previously you might have to write your name and your um uh, national insurance number on your the postal order but they will tell you that when you're there Okay, so go back. So when you're in this apartment room, you the the people, the interview, the interviewers will come in and call your name. So they'll call your name. When they call your name, you go. It's right opposite. You go into the interview room. That's where they will take your they'll take your old passport. They'll take a picture of you. You do your thumbprint and all that. Um, if you have any questions, you can ask the interviewer. And then after that, they'll give you a form that basically gives you like your um, application number, the reference for tracking and all that. And they, it will tell you an estimated date of when you're supposed to, that you get your passport. Um, and then that's it. And then you go out, that's literally it. That's the process. It's not that scary, it's not that daunting. There just is a lot of waiting time. But after that, you're done and then you can leave. So roughly mine, the last time I went, mine took about three and a half hours. Um, from nine, like from the time that I got there, if that makes sense, from 8.30 to like three and a half hours. And that was that was it. So things that might be different for some people. So for example, if you're having like if you're applying for multiple people there's a system there's a like there's a way you can apply for multiple people again please 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 do not use this as a one size fit all everyone is different like i was renewing my passport some, some of you might just be creating a new passport please look at the difference and whatnot um do your research you might be um you might oh also like for example when you're doing your nin if you have a bank in nigeria you're gonna to have to have like a bvn if you have a bvn you might have to like bring your bank your stuff so please research that i'm i don't have a bank account in nigeria i don't live in nigeria so i wouldn't know any of that so please 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 
do extra research to help you know with this but yeah i hope that was helpful i hope that was useful um uh, please if you guys know anything if there's anything that i've missed please add in the comment if you redo your passport let's like help each other out um if you um, have any questions please leave in the comment section below hopefully someone else can answer it if i can't um hopefully my uh, london vlog will come out soon because i went to london a couple of weeks ago and it was so much fun and um, it's about editing it that's the problem but yeah hopefully i get that video to you guys but thank you so much for watching my video and i'll catch you guys next time bye